time and then also after the fact. Is that a tripod fish in front of us? It is. Yeah, let's take a zoom. I think that's something that we haven't uh, seen today. You got it. So this is going to be in the other uh, genus. So there's the three genera of tripod fishes. This is going to be a bathypteroids. Okay, video, we can start to zoom here. And so, yeah, this is going to be the there. genus uh, Bathypteroids grillator. And uh, they are uh, extreme in terms of their adaptations of these pelvic and pectoral fins. So some of these individuals have uh, pectoral and, and pelvic fins that come off uh, over a meter off the substrate. And this is an adaptation that these are kind of sitting white predators. Um, so being up above the seafloor is a common theme that we see on, on benthic organisms. Uh, being in, in environments where there's a better flow. Uh, the other interesting thing about these fish is, well, they're, they're very abundant. So that's been known for a long time. Uh, studies that have quantified the abundance of, of abyssal plants and trawls find a lot of these. And uh, if we could just get some lasers as we come out, just get a sense of uh, size on this guy. Yeah, the other thing uh, important to mention, so they, these can swim. They're, they're fairly poor swimmers, uh, but they can swim. They'll move over short distances, and uh, those fins have, have really important functions in terms of landing. Uh, the front fins, as I pointed out earlier, they are innervated, so there'll be nerves there, and they can they have sensory functions. They use that to sense prey, uh, potential prey around them. The back, the pelvic fins are not going to be innervated, and those are purely to, you know, as stilts to elevate the fish, but they also have important functions in through landing. Get away, don't do it. So yeah, I mentioned about studies uh, quantifying the abundance of deep sea fishes, and that's been done for for a while. You know, going back to efforts like the Challenger that trawled, and a lot of these studies note that these tripod fishes are the third most abundant family of fishes in the deep sea after the Sinaparbranchid eels and the Brachylus. Just imagining a trawl running along the bottom, it seems like being perched up on those fins would be sort of ideal for getting caught in a trawl net moving along the bottom. So uh, 